If you're looking for a nostalgic American diner, then you've come to the right place. Here's your order. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. We come by to um, have a po poor boy or a, a parquet or the fried chicken. I really like the fried chicken. Poor boy, tater tots, and then the chicken. I either get the pork tenderloin or the po' boy. The poor boy box and fries and the baby shrimp box if you want to splurge a little bit on Friday night. Fried, come on. <laughs> I come here to get my fried food. The parquet drive-in is serving up the 1950s style right down to the car hops. Many consider this retro eatery to be a Lexington, Kentucky icon. When the restaurant suddenly closed in 2007, it was soon reopened by brothers Jeff and Randy Kaplan with the intent to keep this legend alive. It is considered such a Lexington institution that Mayor Jim Newberry issued a proclamation declaring August 10th Parquet Day. The Parquet, founded by Joe Smiley, has been around since 1951 and soon became the town's landmark for great tasting food, fun atmosphere, and outstanding service. Okay, so I'm here with Jeff and Randy Kaplan. They are brothers and the co-owners of Parquet Drive-In. Wow, I walked into this place and you guys have done a lot of renovations. Thank you, yes, yes we, we have. have. Thank you very much. It's beautiful. Tell Thank me you. about that process. I know you guys had a, had a big job on your hands. Well, we certainly did. Uh, we, when we first remodeled a little over five years ago, we gutted everything, brought it down to the studs, uh, rebuilt it. Of course, the dining room area is a retro 50s uh, drive, uh, diner concept. We were so successful with that that there wasn't enough seating. So what we decided to do was come up with something else to add additional seating. And that's where the concept of the uh, garage came in. Well, and, and you, you were fully aware that there was not enough seating after your first week. I heard that, I mean, the lines were out the door. You tried to have a soft open, but people were so excited that it, this place was crawling with people. It was crazy. It was really crazy. Well, it's just great because it shows that people were excited yes. to have this place back up and running. Tell me about the renovation process. I mean, you guys, you, you put a lot of painstaking work into making this yes, a reflection of the original parquet. Yes, we did. When we actually uh, uh, bought the business, started the renovation process, we thought it would just take a couple of months, we'd be able to reopen and we're ready to go. Well, it actually turned into an eight month project because with any old older building, you know, you, un you open up one thing and five other things need to be done now. And uh, so that's ultimately what happened. Uh, it was a labor of love though. A lot of hard work, but the results were just absolutely thrilled with. The dining room was so successful that we were people were being turned away every day. We couldn't accommodate. So we talked about it and came up with the idea of uh, adding an addition here on the back and came up with the idea of the, uh, the garage, the park it garage. It's and a great concept. Thank you. And it, thank and it you. really, I know you were pointing out earlier, you had kind of a picture as inspiration. That you did a correct. fabulous job matching that. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. The idea behind this is that in the summer months when the weather's beautiful, we open up the doors and it feels like you're outside sitting on a patio. And then in the winter months like now, we close the doors, the heat's on and uh, we're able to capture the overflow and everybody's comfortable either in the diner or in the garage. Sure. Well, tell me um, a little bit just about the dedication, not only to the building, you've certainly done that and you've expanded and kind of kept this nice 1950s feel, but in a very modern, attractive way, kind of updated it. Thank you. But the menu, you've also had a lot of attention to detail to make sure that those are are respectful to Joe Smiley and to what he exactly. started here. Exactly. That is correct. We keep our burgers fresh. We get deliveries six days a week. The poor boy is built the exact same way, which is our famous double decker burger. Mm -hmm. And our fried chicken, the integrity of the fried chicken is the exact same way. We still use lard. <laughs> so we wanted to keep everything authentic and make sure the flavors and tastes and experiences are what people had back when Joe still had it. And we're trying to keep it real, keep it old school. <laughs> well, yeah, you've got the you've got the old-fashioned recipes. Definitely. Um, but you're using a lot of local products in these things. Yes, we which do. Excites yes, us. Yes, we do. <laughs> I use Clem's refrigerated foods for our meat, 
And we also use... Papanias for our produce. Papanias, that's correct. So we, keep, correct. we keep everything as local as we can. Uh, Down to the buns. Our buns, Down that's right. Buns. Klosterman buns, which is yep. local as well. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, yeah, we like keeping it, keeping it local. If you're looking for classic diner food circa 1950, then you've come to the right place. Burgers get a lot of attention here like the poor boy, which may look similar to one you'd find under the golden arches, but was actually invented first. The poor boy has two hamburger patties, American cheese, onions, tomatoes, iceberg lettuce, pickles, mustard, and parquet sauce. They also serve up other items you would expect from an authentic diner like crispy onion rings, golden fried fish, and their famous finger licking chicken. This is the kind of place that serves food made to order, hot off the grill, and sometimes prepared with good old fashioned lard. Okay, so I'm here with Randy and you guys go to great lengths to make sure that this chicken is like the original recipe exactly. and it stands up to its name. And this is like a box of goodness here. Tell me what's in here. This is 50 pounds of lard. And this is what we fry our chicken. And we have two designated fryers just for our fried chicken. And we use lard. Nice. The old fashioned Southern way. So I'm sure that's hard to enact to be able to have this separate Definitely. oil for just the chicken, but that's the kind of attention to detail you yes, guys do. Yes, it is, and it's worth it. That's the right. The flavor is worth it. Let's do it. All right. This is the secret to the best chicken in the world. Okay, I like it. It's simple beauty. Again, Joe Smiley is a genius. Right. He created this recipe more than 60 years ago, and we still use the same one today. And it's a beautiful thing. Eggs, pepper, dash of salt, and a pinch of seasoned salt. Uh, that's the secret ingredient. Exactly. <laughs> Dash of salt. That's a dash. That's more like a pinch, isn't it? That's, that's, yeah. Okay. And this is it. The famous Parkett fried chicken batter right here. Coming up, we talk with customers about their favorite dishes and learn more about how Parquet has garnered some national attention. Today, we're at a retro 50s diner in Lexington, Kentucky, the Parquet Drive-In. A classic diner like this sure seems like a good fit for diners, drive-ins, and dives. And wouldn't you know it, the big man himself has been here to film an episode and gave his thumbs up to the Poor Boy Burger. Although the Poor Boy is a famous favorite, there are plenty of other standout dishes to choose from. It would have to be between the new three burgers they do, so it would probably be either the Hot Brown Burger or the Bourbon Burger that they have, so they're really good. Probably the hot brown burger. My favorite would also be the hot brown burger. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> With all this acclaim from Guy and Parquet's diehard fans, it was not hard to believe it when Parquet's hot brown burger was hand-picked to appear on the Rachel Ray Show. Randy Kaplan appeared on the show after Iron Chef Bobby Flay issued a nationwide burger challenge for the best burger recipes. His recipe was one of three finalists. Well, clearly you guys have some, like, Parkhead evangelists. I mean, you have some die-hard, loyal customers. Yes, we're very grateful for them. Well, and you even have some big fans uh, in the national networks. I mean, you've got, like, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives who've yes, been here. Yes, yes. Tell me about that experience. That was just great. It was great. We were uh, under construction, and I emailed the show, and then realized, okay, we're not really prepared for this, so I, I just let it go. And then they contacted me 
and said, we're interested in coming, and I'm like, really? <laughs> well, what happened was we had so many customers that had emailed the show that I didn't even know about that they decided to come visit us. It was wow. awesome. Well, and we were talking earlier, you actually are, there's an honor. You've got like one of the top five That's burgers. That's right. We just found out, and you're the first one to actually hear this. Yay. I like that. <laughs> that our poor boy, our famous Double Decker Burger, was voted number five in Diners, Drives, and Dives top ten of all time. Wow. Which is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just phenomenal. That man's what eaten a lot honor. of burgers. He has eaten a lot from <laughs> coast to coast. Right. And we're number five, right in the middle. That's great. That's awesome. Well, you guys have added even more burgers beyond the poor boy. I mean, I know that was like, you know, number five in the nation. Yes. But you, you've gotten some other national attention That's for right. your burgers. That's right. When we opened our garage diner, we wanted to upscale the menu a little bit. So we added three certified Angus beef burgers to the menu. Okay. They're a little well, bigger. Yeah. And one of those caught Bobby Flay's attention. Yes, it did. The Kentucky Hot Brown Burger. Nice. And so yes. you went on the Rachel Ray Show. I did. And you competed with two other people. Yes. And uh, Bobby's a big Kentucky he fan. Is. I love he to hear is. that. And he liked the burger too. He liked the burger, loved the hot brown, loved yes. that interpretation. And it's he really did. one of the only ones that From we know I, of. That's right. <laughs> so I've done a little research and maybe we're pioneering there too. Exactly. Again. Well, and we have to let Bobby know, he was talking about bourbon. You have a, a bourbon burger here. Yes, we do. <laughs> we, you got to come try it, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. We have a our big mouth bourbon barbecue sauce burger. Wow, that we is a mouthful. Called the bopper. The bopper. Yes. <laughs> okay. It's easier to say and more fun to say, but the name's really cool. You have a lot of a lot of uh, options here, really. Yes. Tell me what it was like. Uh, talking with Bobby, being on the Rachel Ray show. It was an excellent experience. I mean, it that was excellent. must have been mind-blowing, though. It I mean, was. It's, it's a totally different experience. It's Yes, it was great. It was very fast-paced. It was, like, just uh, so unique. We got an opportunity to fly to New York, prep our burger, then actually cook it in front of a live audience for Bobby and Rachel. No pressure there. No pressure at all. You were cool as a cucumber, by the way. I Thank saw you. It. You did a great job. Thank you. I would have been a little chatty and kind of probably dropped a few things, and you did great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and you made friends, I read. You, you yes. have remained kind of in contact and yes. with the other two contestants. So, yes. We've been friends and talk all the time, so it was great to make those relationships, and what, it was just a phenomenal experience. We have, a, we have a national television star here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, I would like to, uh, to be treated to learning how to make a hot brown burger. I would love to cook with you. Yay, well, let's go check it out. Let's do that. <laughs> with all this acclaim from Guy and Parquet's diehard fans, it was not hard to believe it when Parquet's hot brown burger was hand-picked to appear on The Rachel Ray Show. Randy Kaplan appeared on the show after Iron Chef Bobby Flay issued a nationwide burger challenge for the best burger recipes. His recipe was one of three finalists. With all this talk of the main attractions, we can't forget about the dessert. Dessert options like funnel cake fries, old-fashioned milkshakes, and Parkett's colossal car crash are sure to grab your attention. No matter whether you choose to sit in your car with nostalgic car hop service, in the original 1950s diner, or in the new 90-seat dine-in garage, you'll be sure to take a step back in time and get a great meal to boot. I'm ready for this poor boy. So good.